So patients often ask us as they go through their healing process and journey to recovery in clinic with us, what is the most difficult part of the recovery? And often that is actually when the patient is largely pain free and we're now talking about returning to activity, returning to the sports that they love to do. And the reason for that is we've reduced the amount of pain that the patient's in, we managed to get them moving again, but the tissue structures still have not adapted to be able to tolerate the load of activity yet. And so when we start to get the patient to return to activity, there's always a risk of a flare up. There's always a risk that the patient may have a return to pain. And when that happens, there's obviously the fear, concern that things haven't in fact improved and that they're still going to uh, get worse again. And often that isn't the case because the difficulty associated with getting patients better is actually managing that return to activity. And one of the easiest ways to manage that activity is figure out how much load in the tissue structure can tolerate. And once we've figured that out, what we do is we then need to titrate their activity down by 15 or 20%. And so what that means is, if we get you doing a low back exercise because we're trying to rehabilitate the low back, we need to find out the maximum amount of load that your low back can tolerate before you start to get stiffening and tightening and a little bit of pain. And what we then need to do is actually titrate your exercise down by around about 15 or 20 percent and then you need to exercise in that safe space. You want to in fact exercise to the point that it actually causes a little bit of aching. And that's the thing that's often confusing for patients, is that what we really want is we want to give the body enough stimulus whereby you're having a stress effect and it's making, an, making a change, but not so much stress that it causes an inflammatory event. So what we generally say to patients is when we give them exercises, we actually want them to ache a little bit the next day but only for around about 12 or 24 hours. Then the aching goes away and then they exercise again. Not too different from when they used to go into the gym and you'd get a little bit of aching from exercise the next day, but it didn't mean injury for us. So the hardest part of getting patients better in the main is actually figuring out how much stress that tissue structure can tolerate, titrate underneath that 20, 30% and then get them going.